Ruth Elizabeth Namtebi is one of the young people living with HIV AIDS in Uganda. Namtebi says she was born with this disease. Initially, Namtebi used to access all information regarding HIV AIDS from her treatment center. I go to Alive Medical Services in Namuongo. That's where I get all my information concerning HIV and AIDS. However, with the evolving communication technologies, Namtebi points out that she now additionally picks information from the internet. Personally, as an educated person, I use also the website for World Health Organization. An HIV AIDS mental health advocate, she also makes use of the internet space to sensitize the public about this important health aspect for people living with HIV AIDS. So I usually use my personal platforms, my social media handles, and then also the NGO social media handles, alongside my social media state, my WhatsApp status. If you have my number, then you know I'm always advocating for issues concerning that. Plus, I have a YouTube channel. I asked Namtebi what she thinks of the information that is produced by the various health sector players regarding HIV AIDS prevention in the country. They are good. I hear them. But I feel like the angle needs to be tilted a bit. The angle of communication in terms of HIV needs to be changed a bit. We need to not only talk about preventative, preventing, preventing. We also need to inform people that we can actually have discordant couples. She argues that this aspect of HIV AIDS prevention has been overlooked, especially among young people. Additionally, young people have not been given enough information regarding drugs like PrEP that can protect them from infection. We have PEP, we have PrEP, we have the, D the DVR ring, we are not talking about the injectable drug that prevents, we are not, we, I feel like we need to do more advertising in that line rather than just telling people to wear a condom, prevent, wear a condom, prevent. Namtevi says that the failure to package the information in native languages as well as using infotainment to appeal to young people is also failing the campaign to prevent HIV AIDS transmission among young people. You got a, a public figure like let's say Eddie Kenzo and you asked him to put out information concerning HIV, concerning protection, concerning mental health, you find that more young people who are his fans in this case will listen and take on this information 10 times more than when you get a random person like me. The research carried out in 2021 by the Health Ministry on HIV AIDS in Uganda found that the infection rate among young people, especially females, has increased. And even amongst the young people, 15 to 24, four out of every five new infections was a girl. So that is of concern. According to Dr. Msova, this indicates that information regarding HIV AIDS prevention might not be reaching the young people. It was found that, you know, the knowledge about HIV was f fairly low, you know. Close to 40% of the respondents didn't know correctly, you know, how HIV is, is transmitted. With this current situation, Dr. Msova says that they've been forced to go back to the drawing board and repurpose the communication model. One of the approaches is one, using young people to get to young people. We can work with young people and they do the messaging either through, but also working through art, you know. Work with the artists, work with the musicians, work with the comedians. Not only are they in, in their age group, but they can communicate this message in the way that young people relate it. This is in addition to strengthening the current prevention models. You're using ABC approach, and then you're using the other prevention methodologies. Male medical circumcision, uh, pre-exposure prophylaxis, HIV testing to know one status, and those who are positive taking their medication as per the health workers' instructions. So you need the whole package together for you to be able to achieve the results. What now waits to be seen is whether the new communication model will reverse the country's HIV AIDS infection rates, especially among young people. Joyce Nakato, NTV Tonight.